Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to review black, black diamond cobras. Um, so this is a pretty cool all around eye still um, that works well for both technical ice climbing like steep ice, probably WR5 and then probably 6 for some of the stronger climbers. Uh, but it also works well in alpine terrain. So, a few cool features here. So I really like the uh, the diameter of this hole in the spike. So you can clip in with some pretty beefy carabiners. Same thing for the head. Like this hole is actually pretty pretty big. Me, like you know, if you even if you're using like a beefy carabiner and you're, you're wearing gloves, you can clip in no problem. Um, Another cool feature here is that you can actually strip down um, all the pinky grips here and turn it into more of a ice axe. So here I have Cobra without any of those pinky grips. And it actually similar, becomes similar to a tool like a Petzl Somtech. You know, you can see that the curvature on these tools is actually uh, somewhat similar, although Cobras are definitely way more aggressive. So if you're doing, you know, like pure alpine stuff and you're climbing a steep snow gully, maybe 50, 60, 70 degrees, and you're switching in kind of as a self rest snow climbing mode, um, it will be way easier to put yourself on self delay if you strip it down so that's a cool thing you can still climb ice um technical ice even without the pinky grip although that's kind of it is a little bit slippery so probably not the best thing uh not the best thing to do also another cool feature that is i think specific to most of the bd tools is that you can actually unscrew this these bolts right here using another tool by just kind of jamming it in here so if you're climbing a big mountain and you broke your uh pick which you know <laughs> shouldn't happen but things things do happen you can um you can just unscrew it using the your second tool saving your you know you don't have to worry uh, carry any additional tools to to fix it so that's pretty that's another pretty handy feature um, you can also replace, I have hammers here, but you can also replace those with alpine ads. So it's a totally, uh, totally all arounder, all around mountain tool. So if you're just new to ice climbing and you're thinking, oh, what kind of tool should I get? If I was to buy just a single tool, single set of tools, I would go with BD Cobras. Um, as for downsides, one thing just to keep in mind is that you know in some technical tools like um if you look at the Petzl ergus here you can actually adjust uh, the volume of your pommel of your handle right here by moving uh the pinky grip back and forth so if you're wearing like really bulky gloves and you're doing some high altitude stuff um you can kind of make the space here bigger. Uh, on BD Cobras, this, this spacing here is kind of just set as is. However, you know, if you're wearing some big bulky gloves, they should still kind of fit, but just keep that in mind. Another thing is the pivot point. So this is truly a technical eye stool, um, but the pivot point here is uh, here at the pinky, meaning when you swing your tool, the, the pivot happens uh, on the pinky. If you compare it to more technical tools, you know, like uh, BD Fuels, um, some Cassin stuff, the, uh, the Ergus here, they actually, the, the flick happens slightly different. This is slightly different mechanic, which is Probably it's a matter of personal preferences, but in my mind it works better on um, 
on really steep ice and maybe some overhanging stuff and um, yeah i think feature wise that's pretty much it now let's do some climbing and actually talk about how how it feels to climb with uh, with bd diamond cobras uh, so as I mentioned they're pretty cool uh, all-around mounting tools cool thing about them is that it's pretty easy to clip in into those tools so let's say you know if you're climbing some steep overhangy stuff and you want to take a break you can easily clip in the, into the spike uh, with your with your personal anchor save you some grip they're still a little bit too pumpy for uh, really steep stuff, but again, I'm not a very strong climber, uh, but for, you know, um, WI5 and above, I would definitely prefer more uh, aggressive tool, uh, something with a little bit more curvature, uh, but as for all around mountain tool, I think they're pretty great. They're still perform really well on advanced terrain um, so yeah definitely a great great tool great all-arounder um, as you can see you can it can do some technical stuff no problem with this tool however my personal preference for a more steeper ice would be probably a slightly more slightly more aggressive tool but yeah, it works well and it always climb up. 